Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a quick entertainment video in regards to the gold orbs that I have amassed um, in terms of my strategy, how I've been saving up and as well, you know, what I'm planning to do with this massive, massive balance in my gold right now. So, I mean, um, first and more foremost, guys, if you haven't seen my channel, my videos, you'll know that I've been saving up and I only ever open the gold orbs only when I've amassed 100 gold orbs um, as a bare minimum. And that allows me the opportunity to not just have a reserve, guys, but excellent gold management, especially uh, if we don't need the gold right now. Now, I know I do get quite a few comments in regards to, hey, Rage, uh, maybe you should build up your roster now using all this gold. It can help out. But to be quite honest, um, it's, there's not a lot of aspects in the game that it could significantly help me in just because I'm involved in a lot of the end game stages. So I definitely would not encourage this if, let's say, for instance, you're starting off early in the game or you're transitioning to mid game uh, just because, you know, you do want to expedite your uh, your growth and your progression. But when you're in the end game like me, and, you know, your alliance is doing, um, you know, Doom 3.4 raids. Um, you, you know, as you can see, I don't actually even have a lot of war uh, teams built up. And we're still doing really good. Even if I did have a full-on top-tier war team, um, my, my alliance is doing fine, right? You know, it's about the, the collective as a whole. I do my part. I'm able to make my attacks and contribute. That's really, at the end of the day, what uh, matters ultimately. And you can see here, even with the Avengers Tower here, that hasn't stopped me from getting to, uh, let's see here, floor 73 is probably where I'm stopping just because it's running out soon here and I do just want to maximize and not take that chance of losing it. But yeah, I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. Um, I've also been able to unlock, you know, uh, no issues unlocking the legendary horsemen here uh, in regards to how they've come about. So even for instance, you know, 100% free to play, keep in mind, right? And all the horsemen, uh, Red Hulk, Morgan Le Fay, and uh, Rogue, all three of them I've been able to unlock five reds. And again, no issues whatsoever, even holding back on all this gold. So why am I showing you this? Well, I just wanted to scout the fact that, you know, you don't need to use gold just because you have it. It's all about gold management. Me having that peace of mind of having this reserve is really nice because I can honestly deal with whatever a boundless or scopely throws at us um the only instance that i'll go over my threshold is if say for instance um they threw a last minute milestone or challenge for us with very little heads up and i needed to bring up a character specifically for that event i think the only time i ever did that actually was pocket dimensions and we haven't gotten that so it uh, hasn't given me a reason to actually invest in those but um overall i have a really strong well-rounded roster in terms of what i'm bringing and i'll show you guys what i'm working on next but you know first and foremost the the intention of this video is to open gold orbs and i want to show you guys what we can get right we have 151 million um as you can see from the screenshot here i like to do this in every video to give you uh two things a timeline and how much gold you can amass even during that timeline so you can see in the screenshot september 3rd 2022 so, you know, just shy over a bit of a month and it was 165 million gold that I ended up getting. So, um, you know, even then, um, my account's only down 14 million since uh, I've been using actually the 2.3, 2.4 million uh, milestone going through that. Uh, and the reason I'll show you later is just because of the rewards you can get. But otherwise, it doesn't seem like my gold's going anywhere. Um, we're still able to amass quite a bit. And uh, also what I want to show you guys here. You know, I haven't really done anything in the game specifically that's different. Just been going through the motions, going through the events. And you can see even during that time, then I've been able to amass a total of 168 gold orbs in the span of a month. So, yeah, uh, generally what we've seen historically is that with every 10, we get about, I believe, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 million. Sometimes we can get luckier with the golds, and that's what we're going to do today. But this likely will be a new account limit for myself in this video because uh, the highest I've ever gotten is 165 million and we seem to be going higher and higher so Unfortunately, uh, like I said earlier scopely just hasn't given me a re good enough reason to spend gold Especially when I don't need to you know um, You know, we're doing great in the game overall in all game modes doing great as even as a hundred percent free to play You can see I got one million right there super duper lucky uh, And then we'll just keep this going um, even better another gold right there so we're only going to keep getting more and more gold. It's going to keep building. And like I said, um, until this game gives me a reason to actually be forced to or pressure to at least build gold, I don't see the head. I don't see the urgency, to be quite honest, because, um, you know, my alliance isn't pressing me to to maximize all my characters just because I have this massive gold balance here. So uh, it can get a little lower when you have the blues, but even that conservatively, as you saw, 1.7 million there. 
uh, got a got a purple on the left, increasing to 1.8. What I have seen from these uh, from these orb drops, though, however, is the conservativeness of the gold orb. So even this video right now, we got quite a few gold orbs. So 2.9, almost 3 million. You can see how much they can quickly add up, and boom, that is a new limit for my account. I've never ever been um, past the 170 million mark. So this is a new record for my account, and. Yeah, another 1.8 million but yeah like i said earlier guys um no no reason you should be uh, spending this much gold in the end game even with all these new characters coming out i guess like in the long-term perspective we can slowly start working on everything that we know we're going to need for apocalypse but um no need to rush it because again there's no there's not really any deadline so i mean you could do it just to get it out of the way but for me here i'll show you guys afterwards though reason i'm taking my time is really the milestones and uh, last but not least, let's finish the eight here, and boom! Wow, just super lucky. This was one of my best, uh, my best 150 plus orbs drop. So 4.3 million right there. Boom! New account limit, 188 million, and it's likely gonna keep going higher, guys. If um, if honestly they don't release anything here, but um, even with these new golden opportunity rewards, I was thinking, hey, uh, maybe they're gonna give me another reason now to to spend more in the game for gold perspective, but. Honestly speaking, even look at this, like Milestone 11, yes, they give us a little bit of the Armor 14, we get a little bit of the T2 ISO 8, um, a little bit of these T1 Ions, but it's not enough for me to be, you know, wanting to spend this extra bit when I could just get it over time, right? I mean, if you're really short on these T2 Ions, as you can see, 1.6, 1.7 million is what I got right now. That could be a reason potentially later on. I might have to aim for this one point, um, this additional 1.3. So 3.5 million a day could be realistically something I would do in the future. But um, as of right now, there just isn't any urgency. And even right now, guys, um, like I said, uh, everything I usually heart here is what I try to build in the short term. And, and you can see uh, I'm in a really, really good place. I'm slowly building up my Gamma team finally. You know, I got Spider-Man Noir being next here once I can get that unlocked. But Unlimited X-Men are my projects right now, along with the uh, the Gamma team. And and afterwards, guys, like that's all the meta I need at, at that point. At this point, so and that's what I mean. And and no one's telling me that I need to do it right now because uh, even the next uh, Scourge running is in about I believe actually less than a week here. We look at. Um, the announcement recently last week uh, with Rogue second, Scour second Scourge coming back here. We have the Apocalypse, uh, Apocalypse Saga starting in six days and 22 hours. So yeah, less than a week here. Um, that is why I brought I brought up and invested in my limited X Men. But again, I'm doing the math here. Uh, it makes sense that I'm taking my time. They're mo all of them are level 80 now and just getting them to gear tier level um, uh, 15 being engaged. But otherwise, um, no reason why I can't take my time in the next six days to do that. And then afterwards, Gamma Team and. That's everybody I have in the meta, so that's what I mean, guys. Um, even then, look at my Spider Weaver. Uh, she's doing really good right now, level 75 and heavily involved in Cosmic Crucible. So yeah, um, um, in layman's terms, guys, honestly, just take your time with the gold. We don't need to spend it. We don't need to. Um, if you feel that urgency in the mid game and early game, I highly highly would encourage it just to expedite your your growth but i think when you're at the late game stages and you know you've defeated uh all the dark dimensions um you've crushed the pustle and saga in terms of um the first campaign one um and you're heavily involved already in cosmic crucible alliance war i've been staying you know cons you know it's funny i haven't even invested in my dark hold for months now and i'm staying consistently in top 100 it, it just, there's not enough reason for me to push these guys up um yet in my opinion right especially when we're just being very comfortable and just coasting right now so that's honestly my method guys obviously it's a resource managing game do what works for you guys but um my my uh, recommendation is to hold off if you don't need to because at this point um how much can my roster really grow from using this go to be quite frank not much um unless you want to be a perfectionist right so um just my two cents guys from a 100 percent free to play perspective thank you as always i do appreciate you guys checking my videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one